Would you give up your life to save the life of a complete stranger? Hey guys, it's Tyler, the director, and welcome back to my channel, where I post movie reviews, recommendations, and more. So if you're interested in that, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, on to the video. Today we're going to talk about the 2018 mystery drama, Mirage, directed by Oriel Paolo. If you haven't seen the movie yet, it's still available on Netflix, so I'll leave a link in the description below. For the first part of this video, I'll give a quick spoiler-free review of it so you can decide if you want to go check it out or not. And afterwards, I'll give an in-depth analysis of my thoughts of the movie and probably what could have made it better. Disclaimer! Don't worry, all footage and all images are taken from the trailer itself, so there will be no spoilers. Okay, let's get into it. Netflix's description of the movie states, A space-time continuum glitch allows Vera to save a boy's life 25 years earlier but results in the loss of her daughter, whom she fights to get back. As I stated earlier, Mirage is a mystery film. So if you're into that genre, then you know what to expect. Typically, a genre of film that revolves around the solution of a problem. It focuses on the efforts to solve mysterious circumstances of an issue by means of clues, investigation, and clever deduction. I won't give anything away, but you can expect a dialogue-heavy plot filled with suspense and detailed twists that will keep you at the edge of your seat. However, the movie does have aspects of a drama. Seeing as the plot revolves around Vera, our main character, trying to solve a problem 25 years in the past, while also looking for her daughter, so it has that mystery drama genre, okay? A majority of the reviews for the movie were positive, and although its runtime was a little excessive, a little over two hours, the movie's still great and entertaining, and I recommend that you should go check it out. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to Netflix below if you wanna go check it out now. Okay, for this section of the video, I'll give an in-depth analysis, so it goes without saying, spoiler alert. Okay, you've been warned. Let's go. Let's get this out of the way. The movie does not deliver like its direct predecessor from the same director, The Invisible Guest. Personally, I thought the movie was good, but not great. The movie was complex, but that isn't necessarily a good thing. By introducing too many plot points without focusing on developing the underlying story, the movie lacked depth. The movie did well in building an emotional connection to the characters, especially Vera, played by Adriana Ogart, who performed in her role exceptionally well, but slips in the thriller aspect. At times, it felt like the movie was trying too much, and in that way, the ambition was there, but the execution was lackluster. The movie went for too many genres at one time. Science fiction, noir or detective crime fiction, family drama, and historical drama. The story possibly could have been better if they removed one of the weaker, unnecessary twists, such as their marital situation. Therefore, tightening the screenplay and focusing a little more of the attention towards the core of the story. If you enjoyed this movie as much as I did, I recommend the following. If you enjoy the Spanish thriller genre, I highly recommend The Invisible Guest, a 2016 film by the same director, Oriel Paulo. I've already made a spoiler-free video recommendation for that movie, so if you're interested, you can check it out with the link in the description below. If you're into sci-fi movies that deal with time travel and the implications of time travel, then I recommend the following. First, Project Almanac, a 2015 American science fiction thriller film. The story follows a group of high school students that build a time machine. They get the machine running, but their joy turns into horror when they find out the results of their immature actions. Next, The Butterfly Effect, a 2004 American science fiction thriller film starring Ashton Kutcher. The title refers to the popular hypothetical theory of the same name, The Butterfly Effect, which illustrates how small initial differences may lead to large unforeseen consequences over time. And lastly, Source Code, a 2011 action thriller film starring Jake Gyllenhaal. The synopsis of the movie states, a soldier finds himself in the body of an unknown man. He discovers he's part of an experimental government program to find the bomber of a commuter train, a mission he has only 8 minutes to complete. Mirage doesn't quite reach the heights of Paolo's previous films, 
but nevertheless, it remains an above average thriller with a few outstanding moments and twists. It is still a good movie to watch that I recommend to all. So I ask you again. Would you give up your life to save the life of a complete stranger? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. I appreciate all feedback, so if you have any comments or suggestions, just hit me up in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply. Again, this was Tyler the Director, see you all next week, and that's a wrap!